Hi everyone, I'm Jason from As One Guidance, and today we're going to talk about changing your perspective, really changing your outlook on, on what it is that you are thinking and, and your thought patterns. And uh, what we're trying to do is, um, you know, come from a place that everything is, all of our desires are within us. So when we come from that, from when we come from a place where our thought patterns are, you know, I don't have this. I don't. I don't have my twin. Uh, I wish my twin was here. Um, it'd be really, you know, it'd be really great if you know they actually showed up, or or uh, they actually stopped running from me, or you know, whatever it is that you're thinking. Um, you're coming from a place where your thoughts are are in lack, and you're, you're you're thinking that you don't have something when it's when your desires are already within you, and all you have to do is realize that. All you have to do is uh, clear away those blocks to realizing that what you want, all the things that you want, are within you. And so when you, when you come from that place, when you come with, with those thought patterns of not having something, you're just manifesting more and more of that. You just keep manifesting that you don't have something. Those are your thought patterns, and that's what you keep getting. You know, think about it from a different perspective. Also, when, uh, when uh, you are you know, super upset throughout this journey. Like think about, uh, you know, you see a mother and a, or a, you know, a parent and uh, a little kid in the, in the store and, you know, the parents pushing the cart and the little kid wants something, you know, a toy or, or candy or something like that. And the parent, you know, says, no, you, you can't have that because X, Y, Z, you know, whatever the reason is. And the child, you know, throws a complete tantrum, like kicking and screaming, rolling around on the floor. You know, the, the highest pitch sounds that you've ever heard come out of anything, like causing a major scene. You know, is that you? Is that you along this journey? So think about... When, when you witness uh, a child doing this in, in, in the store or wherever you may be, what do you want to give that child? Do you want, like, if you, if that was your twin doing that out, you know, in the middle of the street or in the middle of a store, is that going to attract you to them? Is that an attractive quality? You know, think about, really think about, like, how you're acting and what your actions are throughout this journey. Are you, are you attracting your twin or are you repelling them? And be super honest with yourself. You know, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts? What are your actions? You know, are you, are you totally freaking out? That's not an attractive quality. And whether you're doing it physically in front of them or not makes no difference. Because understand, and I'll keep saying it over and over, that you are one. They are within you. If you're throwing a tantrum, albeit uh, adult-like or childlike, they know that's what's keeping them away. That's what's repelling them. You know, start to change your perspective and, and, and really start to believe that this is, this is very, very possible for you. That all you need to do is your inner work. That is all that's being asked of you to do. You know, there's absolutely times 
uh, throughout this whole thing that you, that yes, you know, you come to uh, your wits end maybe, or, uh, you know, some certain situations are, are way more difficult than others to deal with. Or you, you just uh, get fed up with certain things or frustrated over certain things. You know, all of these things are being are coming up to heal the frustration, the the being fed up, the uh, you know, just wanting to quit, etc. etc. You know, these things are all coming up in order to be healed. You know, it's it's really easy to to just throw your hands up in the air and say, well, fuck it, and and then like you know go punch a hole in the wall or you know go break all of uh, the dishes in the house because oh my twin bought me these so I'm just gonna or whatever it is that they you know I got these as a gift from my twin. So I'm going to like light it on fire or, you know, I'm going to run it over with my car. Like think about, you know, taking responsibility for, for your actions. And then, you know, really put your, put yourself in, in their shoes. If, uh, if you witness this happening or if you witness somebody, uh, if you witness them doing these things, would you be attracted or would you want to run in the opposite direction or not even run in the opposite direction, but just stand there and be like, what are you doing? Like, I don't, I don't know you. I don't like, who are you? You know, this notice that how you're acting and what they're doing, there's a correlation there. Are you calm? Are you at peace? Are you, do you have, are you just, you know, completely exuding like unconditional love? Because if you were, they'd be knocking on your door. But if that's not the case, then somewhere inside of you, you need to heal something in order to do those things. You know that if 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 you're not getting what you're what you want, that there's something blocking it. So instead of getting hysterical. Just heal the block. And then it goes away. And you keep healing those blocks until they all go away. And then there's nothing left to block you from your twin flame union. Then it all comes. There's nothing standing in your way at that point. But change the way you think. Change the change how you're thinking and how you're going about this whole process. Is it an absolute burden to you? Like, is this the worst thing that's ever happened to you? If that's what you think, you're going to get a lot more of that. Is this the best thing that happened to you? You should say yes, because you are being called to completely love yourself. If you don't see a gift there, if you don't see the ultimate gift there, you know, then what? Then if this is just about, if, if for you this is just about um, 
you know, having a boyfriend or girlfriend and, you know, maybe going bowling or going to the movies and making dinner or whatever uh, a couple nights a week, you know, then, then just go get a girlfriend or a boyfriend. But this is way, way beyond that. Understand that. Understand that there is a very small percentage of people on this planet at this time being called to do this, that, that are being called on this journey. You know, really embrace the fact that if, if you are being called on this journey, that out of all the people on this planet at this time that, you know, maybe it's time to start looking at, at this a little bit differently. And maybe it's time to start really, truly diving into this happily and joyfully and getting as much out of this journey as, as you possibly can. Because it's all for you. All of it. And only the people that, that really want to love themselves will get to the finish line. So really think about that. And visit asoneguidance.com uh, for my services in order for your for my help to get you there into union with your twin. Subscribe to my channel and, you know, if you'd like, leave a comment down below. Have a great day.